I got a great video from dating rights. Dating in DC is trash. I'm gonna tell you why. Go ahead, Ali. <laughs> All right. Oh. So we went out to four different bars yesterday. Yeah. Like lounges. They're all upscale. All upscale. All at really high end um, hotels. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we observed is that men <laughs> want to approach you. They will approach you. They are gonna approach you after you pay your tab. Yeah. It's a weird dating culture here. This is not like a New York. It's not like it's not like a Miami where if men see you, they're like, you're beautiful. Can I get you a drink? Can I get you something? Right? It's over here. It's like they want to make conversation. And I do think this is related to being a minority because we are not the beauty standard here. We are not the beauty standard. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you want men before they approach you, they pay for your tab. You've been costing for minutes or hours. You've been costing so much. And then you want a man before he approaches you to pay for that tab. Make it make sense. No, no. Not in D.C. Not in D.C. No. Anyway, let me not go into that. Go ahead, please. So pretty much we went to one lounge in particular. Mm -hmm. There's an energy convention going on. Mm -hmm. Guys, I think we all know what type of women go to lounges and hotel lobbies to scope out men and target men a lot of males we were probably I there's don't know. like it's like, like four, four, women. four women and like 25 men yeah so we're thinking pickings are great like we're not gonna have to really pay for anything like you know and these are all men literally business suits like they are all dressed like they look like they are you know loaded like they look like they're very comfortable okay and this is a very nice hotel lounge okay they have no problem staring, though. No problem staring, honey. Because we were looking good. We were looking good. And my thing is, we're wrapping up the night, okay? No one's saying anything. We're just getting stares. I don't know where we're just going to go then. So we, you know, I Maybe. pretty much the bill comes. Yeah. And then one guy who's been eyeing Mara all night mm -hmm. comes over, tells yeah. her, you're so hot. I told my friends that I know you. That's why I'm staring. And, I, and he's like, well, can you stay? Like, I'll get you something top shelf. And I said, well, you know, we're actually about to leave. Um, and we're actually about to close out the tab. So, I mean, if you want to cover this, you can. And if you want us to stay. But if not, like, we're just going to go. And he, what did he say? Go ahead. He put his hand out and he oh. said, no. <laughs> I can't do that. I already told you girls when a man says no to you, what the hell that means, okay? At this point, you're not even trying to impress. So I was like, okay, thank you for your no, and I'm gonna say no to you, so we're just gonna go then. So as we're leaving, he started to chase me down, talking about where are you going, and I said, well, you're not gonna pay, so we're, wh why are we gonna stay? Well, like, like, what, what freaking logic is that? This woman is the definition of delusional. Now I understand buying a woman a drink or two, but to be asked to cover her entire tab just to have a conversation with her, that sounds a bit interesting. But at the same time, I gotta keep it real and say it sounds like this man is a beta male. Why is he chasing after her like this? So, um, anywho, wh where we were s um, seated, there was a table next and to- And I think maybe they are dating strategy also, mm -hmm. like, it can't work for them because men realize that it's not working for them. She's so short term. So she wants the man to pay for what she's been drinking and eating. Like three quarters of the men or most of the men I know, I'm a man myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm willing to pay for whatever that we will incur while I'm there. So in that moment where I'm on the table, I'm also drinking i'm also eating i might pay but in situation where you've been costing with your friend and then you want me to settle the bill before i can talk to you that can't work was of two older men um and they're witnessing everything and they witnessed the whole entire exchange and then one of them was like um what do you say because she said out loud that if you're not paying my tab I'm i did going to i said it all out loud it. yeah that, that man, another man who's staring, who witnessed everything, mm -hmm. said, I agree with you. I agree that a man should pay the tab if he wants you to stay. But the thing is, he didn't pay either. And the thing is, too, <laughs> they were trying to sneak in conversations with her when I'm going to the bathroom, stuff like that. You know, just kind of like, they were also kind of chipping in the whole entire night that we were there. And it's kind of like, if you're not 
going to, I think the bar culture or lounge culture is if you want to talk to a single beautiful woman that there is some type of, we want to pay, we want to do something, right? It's not free conversation out here. We're not doing that, okay? So the fact that you want to make a comment on that and not even solve the problem, it's, it's better if you just said nothing. That's my thing. So say nothing. You can observe the situation and say nothing. Okay, like why even make a comment? That was that's what I think kind of like rubbed us the wrong way. And then we went to another place, and we do the same thing happen. We're about to leave. Our things already paid. We want you to stay. We want you to stay now. We'll get you whatever you want. And it's like, but we already paid. Were you gonna solve the problem? No. Yeah. So we had a continuation literally throughout the night of men who would wait for our bill to already be there and or pay, then want to come at us with the whole whatever, okay? These were black men, these were white men, these were middle-aged men too. What's the objective here? Maybe we get the objective here. Is, is your objective to have your bills paid by random men? Or is it that you want to meet some good men out there that are established and they are doing something for themselves? To really know what you want. You seem to want... Uh, of random men to pay for your bill if you want some random men to pay you gotta give something in return that for sure is gonna work at that um men with money all of them talking about money all of this and it's like sir sit the f down i'm sorry but it's so these entitled women are extremely upset because they couldn't get men to pay their tabs at all the bars and lobbies they went to you cannot make this stuff up it's crazy we had all this weaponizing competence we had men telling us that there are more beautiful women in san diego and la as they're also talking to us so it's like, hello, are we not sitting next to you? Like, it was just so weird. It was strange, just strange behavior. And, and it just shows that we're not wanted here. That's it. Compared to Miami, compared to New York City, I, I do not feel like there was energy there, that we actually felt like we were wanted or desired because the typical culture is you want to talk to a single beautiful woman, the first thing out of your mouth is, Oh my God, can I get you something? What are you girls here for tonight? Can I get you something? If you want to engage in conversation, but we're not about to be going back and forth all night. And then you're like, well, have a good one. Let me get my tab. Like, that's not normal. Now, honestly, when I saw this video, I was like, is this a poor attempt of these women trying to reverse psychology men into making men think that we are responsible for women's tabs when we go to restaurant or bars because i was like she can't be serious but as i was listening to them talk i can tell that she is serious these are women most likely from miami who just feel as if they never had an issue using their pretty privilege to get me in the bottom things and cover their drinks and food. A lot of women like these young ladies have men simping at their feet all the time. But apparently the men in DC are standing on business. They are not gonna bend their knee to these particular women. And these women hate it. If I was a man in today's society, I would not get married. Let me explain. In the modern era, marriage is completely outdated. The tax breaks you get from it aren't even that good. And to be really honest, it is geared towards protecting the woman in the relationship. In the event of divorce. I keep telling women, you only pick the men that you open your legs to. You do not pick the man that goes down on one knee. You don't. So you can ch make your choices and be free-willed and live up your best city girl life all you want, yeah? But at the end of it, you're not the one that's going to choose whether you're worth to be married or not. So I suggest you actually listen to men when they say what they want to marry. Relationships are pointless. I do. I feel like that right now. I feel like they're pointless because they don't last forever. Don't, yeah. Don't never last forever, though. That's what I'm saying. So what's the point? The only thing relationships are to me right now are just like for the time being. Like you're, you're doing that just for right now because that's not going to last forever. And if it's not going to last forever, then what are you doing? You're just making this bond. You're, you're doing all this just to become strangers in the next two years. And now he definitely had a point there. But I wanted to share this chart with you guys on how they talked about since 1930, how couples actually met. They did a study where they talked about how couples met from 1930 always to the present day. And you will see that the number one way people met each other was through friends, family, co-workers, or at a bar or restaurant. And at some point it was a little bit in school and college. And then we're gonna slowly see how 
after the 2000s online dating exploded and kind of got everybody anti-social and messed up the whole game for everything but now they say online dating is at 60 percent of how couples meet each other and i do think it may be much higher than that but that's all i got in this video i want some of the people that actually live in dc to drop a comment down below and definitely let us know how much cap these women are talking be sure to hit that subscribe button like the video thanks for watching